Hi, this is Laura GB, and in this Power BI video, we're going to look at using inactive relationships in a measure. So let's have a look at our data and what we're trying to achieve. So here we have a list of 10 tasks. They all have a start date, they all have a finish date. And your project manager wants to know per week how many tasks are starting and how many tasks are finishing. So you'd like a little chart showing that. So let's go and have a look at our model. And here we are, we have our tasks table and we've got a calendar with a date and start of week columns. So let's do the easy one first. How many tasks are starting? So in order to do that, we've got to relate the start date. So I'm gonna click on there and I'm gonna drag and put it on date. And there we go, we get a relationship between the two. But if we're going to do finishing tasks as well, we're going to need a second relationship. So I'm going to drag finish date on to date. And there we go. We get our second relationship. But you can only have one active relationship between two tables. Hence, we get the dotted line for the second one we created, which is inactive. We can also see this if we go into manage relationships. We can see our list of relationships there and only the start date one at the bottom here has got the active tick. So we've got our relationships. Now let's write some measures. So we're going to write our first measure, which is just going to be counting the tasks that are starting. Let's zoom in a little bit on there. So we're going to go with tasks starting. And that is really simple. We're going to count. We're going to count task ID. So yeah, that's added that measure. Now we're going to add another new measure, which is the tasks finishing. But this time we want to use this relationship here to go from our calendar across to our tasks. So this is going to be, so let's go for our new measure. And we're going to go for tasks finishing. And for this, we're going to use the calculate function because this allows us to take an expression and then add some filters or conditions to it. So our expression is going to be exactly the same as previously. We're going to count the task IDs. And the condition we're going to add in is we're going to say use a relationship. So use the use relationship function. And we're going to into there put in calendar start date. So sorry, calendar date. And then task finish date. Now there has to be a relationship between these two. And then I can finish off by closing the calculate. So that's given me task starting and task finishing measure. So let's go and use those in a visual as the project manager would like. So we're going to add in a clustered column chart. Let's put that in the middle of the page. And our X axis is going to be our start of week. Our Y axis is going to be our task starting and our tasks finishing. And there we go. We've got a chart showing our tasks that are starting at the beginning of our month, beginning of our project. And sure enough, we've got tasks finishing towards the end of our project. So this was using an inactive relationship in a measure. I'm Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.